Microsoft's hardware event just came into focus thanks to a bunch of leaks. What's up everybody, Brad here back again. And this week, Microsoft is gonna be hosting their hardware event in New York City. But as is tried and true tradition before any event, it seems like it doesn't matter if it's Microsoft, Apple, Google, or anybody else, uh, the leaks have occurred. And so I'm not gonna beat around here. We are going to dive in. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than usual, but here you go. This is the first look at the upcoming Surface Pro 7. Now, obviously looking at it, you're not gonna see a bunch different, but what you need to focus on here is that's a USB type seat. Now, I'm pretty sure that is not Thunderbolt, but this is a pretty basic upgrade, right? They took out the display port, they slapped in USB type C, giving you still type A, and surprisingly, that Surface Connect port still there. So you're gonna have a bunch of different connectivity options. Unfortunately, no Thunderbolt 3, but you can see here, it looks pretty much the same. If we jump through some of the images here, um, still have the Surface Connect port or the type cover port down on the bottom there. Same basic layout. Some of the wallpaper images, by the way, that leaked earlier, uh, you can see are on these devices, but the Type-C is the big giveaway there, if you will. Uh, and then you can see it in the proper Surface Pro stance. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. Now, when you move it on over, well, here's just another profile shot, but when you move it on over to the Surface laptop, the Surface laptop is gonna get refreshed and there's going to be two variants which have been confirmed by the leaks and by the way these leaks come from EV leaks on Twitter if you follow him which you should be uh, yet yeah, you would have seen these images by now but this is just going to put a little context to it but if you look there's two versions of the laptop there's the 13 inch and a 15 inch the one thing that you don't see on these devices is the Alcantara cover now I'm not saying that it's not coming on any variant but there is definitely going to be options where you can finally just get a bare metal finish without the carpet and I think a lot of people are going to be very happy about that and again look for usb type c to be coming to this device now the big reveal here and this is the 13 and 15 inch like i said you can't really tell the difference the big reveal at least the big item that i've been waiting for here is this guy now on the side you might think hey that looks a lot like a surface pro but what this actually is this is a surface pro i don't want to say it's a pro because we don't know the branding yet but this is definitely a surface tablet if you will but it has an arm chip built in and it also has lte you can see the buttons there uh, on the side but if you get this look this kind of tells the whole story here you've got two mark that two usb type c and you've also got a volume rocker there but the other big thing to take away look how thin this device is this is a clearly much thinner than a traditional surface pro and it looks like it's going to be clearly fanless which is kind of a hallmark if you will of the arm chip design so you know we're looking at a fan thin design and obviously there is a type cover down there if I can move advance correctly and you can also see look at that brand new pen that is a brand new pen for this type of a device we don't know what type of touch screen it's gonna be but you also get a really good look here look how much thinner those bezels are they are much thinner this obviously looks much more like a modern computing device and it it looks nice obviously performance is gonna be big here we don't know what it's gonna look like an actual real world but you get a nice little pen and look at this if you look at the top of what is the type cover and for those who aren't familiar that is the the keyboard that Mike that's what Microsoft calls it it looks like that is actually a charging area for that pen this looks like it's an active stylus meaning that it's got batteries in it and rather than having to recharge it or, or swap the battery it looks like at the top of that type cover you can actually place it in there and I know there's also an accessory um, that is coming that will allow you to charge that pen independently what I don't know yet and it's hard to tell is if you can use existing type covers with this device but this is the type of device that I am looking forward to most uh, there's also some other accessories coming by the way look for new uh, arc touch mouse uh, and also new mobile mice uh, in the various colors like the sandstone the ice blue and the poppy red I don't have images of those yet um, but those are coming as well so we got accessories being updated there's also gonna be new pens that will also match that color but take a look this is the first look guys at the surface lapped I don't know I don't know what I want to call a surface tablet I don't think it's quite pro I don't know if they're gonna use that pro moniker I personally hope they don't because it kind of like it doesn't look like this device I mean yes it's supposed to tablet but this is like your workhorse and this device back here is very much the mobile always connected on the go type device I am personally most excited if you can't tell about this I mean look at those bezels they look great I think Microsoft is going to have a big event now you might be thinking man oh man what did I just do there I just click something that's not, my mouse is on the wrong screen that is why 
Um, you might be thinking, hey, that's everything Microsoft's got up its sleeve. No, I, I think there's some things missing from this. So while you might think, hey, this is a complete foil, uh, if you will, of the Microsoft hardware event, the company more than likely still has a few things up its sleeve. First off, we don't know anything if Microsoft's gonna talk about 20H1. Remember, they've got a big update coming next year that they've been kind of weirdly um, testing for a very long time. So that is one question that we still don't know about. Uh, Centaurus, remember, that has been heavily rumored, right? The foldable device with two screens. We're not seeing any of those images. And then what is Centaurus gonna run? So there's, there's a lot of stuff that is still coming in Teams for Life. I don't know if Teams for Life is coming. I have not heard anything about it. Teams for Life is the consumer variant, if you will, of the Teams for Enterprise product. But this is, um, it's still gonna be a good event. It is happening on Wednesday, but there you go, guys. That is your first look at some of the hardware. Uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch all of you right back here next time.